Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Oda Potato, and this is Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. That's right, we have graduated from the demo, which was provided to um, YouTube YouTubers and Twitch streamers, and we are now on to the full release of this game, which means that we can play the campaign from the very start right up until the very end, if, of course, we are successful. Um, if you haven't already seen the demo series that I did, it's a really, really... A good short series that I would recommend if you want to get acquainted with this game. It's pretty much exactly the same um, as XCOM in terms of the way that it plays, and it is a sort of strategy tile based uh, real time stealth game, I would say. That's probably a fairly accurate way of summarizing exactly what it is. And we're going to be jumping right into a new game. Um, I feel that we should probably try it on hard. I mean, I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I have some experience with tactical games. I'm not new to tactical games. Um, I feel that we could probably, probably treat ourselves to a little bit of the extra difficulty. Um, annoyingly, I think that the campaign, or at least some of the campaign, will be somewhat similar. However, of course, I think we're going to get a bunch of different weapons, different modifiers, so it's still worth us going through it together. Anyway, let's sit back and watch the story. Why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on, we gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. Yep, alright, and with that we'll jump into it. I'm gonna play as Not annoying. Ducks. Shut because I much prefer playing as uh, as this duck. What's um, wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that nine thousand times. Yeah, already. thanks for the uh, thanks for the advice. Um, we sort of know pretty much where we're gonna go. Um. Of course, we've got the first mission, which is Return to the Ark. We did, of course, manage to complete this in the demo. As I say, we're going to keep our eyes peeled for uh, scrap and all of the associated goodies. We got ourselves some scrap metal, Borman. Rare scrap. Perfect. Cool. Great. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to jumping into this, actually. Okay. Let's see if we can let's see if we can ambush these guys. I mean, it's kind of unfair because we know we know how the game plays. I don't suspect that there actually has been um, too many changes to the to the game. Uh, I want to get within range of a one hundred percent chance. Yes, I know it will alert you. That's fine. Uh, excuse me. I thought this was going to be a hundred percent. I was informed that this is going to be a hundred percent. Well, it doesn't particularly matter. We managed to get the shot anyway. It's all good. Great. Let's sort of rock and roll over this way. It's a Marauder. Once again, we don't really need to worry about this. We know we know the damage that we can do. We know the cover mechanics. The cover mechanics are actually um, remarkably similar to XCOM, believe it or not. Um, yep. Let's move over here. Yep. I know I was caught sneaking. It's actually no big deal at all. I just want to guarantee the 100% uh, the 100 chance to to kill him. There we go. All right, let's pick up the scrap. We get a broiler 50, which is one additional critical damage. 50% chance to burn enemies. Great. Cool. I'm... Um, yeah, something is up. Yeah, I'm really not sure where the demo and uh, the real, the, the, you know, the full game is going to um, follow me. is gonna is gonna diverge. I don't know, I don't know what to expect in terms of is that something over there? Nope, doesn't look like it. Um, I don't know what to expect in terms of uh, in terms of different cutscenes. I don't know, I don't know, you know, in terms of different content. Looks like there's something over there. We are gonna go out there in just a second. Uh, old tool scrap, sure, I just want to make sure that we are absolutely sure that we've got pretty much uh, everything that we possibly can. Uh, and we missed the plane over here, and I'm sure that there is some it's, uh, some goodies it's near a, the plane. We saw one of these things once, filled with zone dogs, right? Oof. The ancients sure knew how to build big pieces of garbage. Big pieces of garbage, quite right. 
I mean, I'm being kind of a little bit dismissive because, uh, you know, we've, we've sort of done... I don't want to say we've done all of this before, but we literally have done all of this before. So, uh, in terms of... In terms of... The story elements at this very, very early stage in the game, I don't think we're really going to be missing anything too, too much. Um, it's just making sure that we really hit all of the scrap that we possibly can get. And, uh, and make sure we can uh, we can progress. Alright, so we're back to the vehicle that we picked up uh, some, some more scrap for, from. Um, let's head around here. Got ourselves some ghouls. One of them looks like he ain't in the He is a big beast. Ninja mode. Listen, turn off your flashlight. Sneak by the water, they won't see us. Yeah, that's a great shout. That is a really, really great shout. So, uh, Red Skulls are way too, way too beefy for me right now. Whoa, look at that. He's a tank. He's level 55, and that's a Marauder level 55 as well. I don't think we've ever come across level uh, level 55 dudes in the in the demo anyway. So it's clear that at least some things have changed, which is uh, which is kind of a little bit interesting, I guess. Just something to note. I'm going to try and sneak around the back, see if we can get a hold of that gold crate. Although I'm somewhat doubtful that we can. Yeah. Doesn't look like we can, unfortunately. As much as I would love to take those guys on and get those three little piles of scrap. Well, two little piles of scrap and then one... Uh, one weapon. I would love to, but unfortunately, I uh, I can't. So we'll just turn our flashlight back on, and let's progress to the next level. Nice, beautiful. They've also uh, loaded a nice little dice loading animation icon, which is kind of nice. Nice little feature. Um, and of course, as you probably saw, um, we are heading back to the Ark. Um, it didn't take us too long last time. However, uh, we want to get there quite fast. What have we got equipped right now? Just having a brief little overview. Uh, a smoke grenade on ducks. Interesting. Interesting to note that a smoke grenade puts out fire as well. What have we got on, um, what have we got on Borman? Uh, we've got a Molotov on you. You've got the scattergun and your secondary weapon. And you've, of course, got the crossbow. The, the one shot, one kill silent crossbow, actually. Uh, scattergun does do five damage, though, so kind of nice uh, and in terms of mutations uh, mutations we haven't really discussed mutations but mutations are basically just permanent modifiers to uh, a character uh, that you can get as uh, as you level up so it's uh, it's a pretty nice system I really dig it home, sweet home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss that elevator when I see it yeah Upstairs, take a bath get a grog with the boys get another grog with the boys foot massage oh, it's gonna be great Grog with the boys. I love a grog with the boys. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure that we uh, we explore all of the grassland before we progress, uh, because of course that there is there is untold bounties in this area. I don't know. I don't mean that this specific area, but in general, there are uh, there are a lot of goodies. I know there's a campsite right there, but I am just going to run up this side just on the off chance that there is absolutely anything because, and I'll tell you exactly why, is that I know from at least playing the demo that even, you know, that little extra bit of scrap can make all the difference when it comes to buying an upgrade, when it comes to buying some med kits, and especially if we're going to be, um, you know, if we're going to be mucking around in hard mode, then, uh, you know, it's really, really essential that we get absolutely every scrap of scrap. Just to be uh, facetious. Um, med kit, sure, we'll pick up a med kit. We know how med kit works. Uh, outside of combat, uh, med kits fully heal an individual. Uh, however, in combat, they do not. They only heal for a certain amount uh, in combat. I think it's, what is it, four... I can't remember what it was. It's four or five or six uh, health tabs, so to speak, but that's no biggie. That house looks like it's had a bad day, perhaps a bad couple of years, in fact. But, you know, I'm not here to uh, to assess the structural integrity of, uh, of a house. We're here to we're here to help the Ark survive. And firstly, our mission is to return to to the Ark. There's a cabin Ooh. up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off. Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. 
Turn off your flashlight. Turn off your flashlight. Sneaking. Yep, it's okay. We pretty much understand the mechanics of sneaking. It's just you know, if you turn out, if you turn off, uh, if you turn off the flashlight, the area that they can, that the that the enemies can send you in uh, decreases rather substantially, actually. So uh, Hungry. yeah. Okay, I've got a plan here. I'm going to split up the team, which we can do. We basically just press the F button. And then I'm going to climb up here. And I'm going to get ourselves into a very, very nice and comfortable situation. Or should I say position. And then we're going to roll with it. We're going to roll with it. So I'll switch over here. Let's engage... Let's engage these dudes, let's activate, and then let's see what the chances are of hitting. Because, of course, the high ground um, in this game is super ridiculously powerful, um, and it gives us an absolutely massive range bonus. It really, really is incredible. So it looks like there's three enemies, one which we are guaranteed to hit 100% right now, um, and we can we can wipe them out um, entirely, which is really, really great, and then we can sort of deal with them with our second turn. So let's take that shot. We'll take the shot with a crossbow. It's entirely silent as well. Great. Enemy has heard you. I should hope so. If the enemy didn't hear me, then that would be a serious problem. 75% chance to hit over there. 50% chance to hit over there. Do I really want to run in? Not sure that I really do. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this chap on Overwatch for now. He is our tank over there, so you know we can be a little bit more uh, upfront with him, really. But, you know, we should still play it a little bit safe. Unreal! How do you hit that shot? Okay, that's just ridiculous. Yep. Okay, great. Well, that is so annoying. The range on this thing is just absolutely pathetic. 50% chance if we move it up. If we move him up over there. 25% chance to hit over there. Okay, this is just... This is unreal. Okay, this is not the most advantageous position for us. Um, I think we'll actually just retreat with this guy and um, and put him back. Put him back over there. That was a real bummer. Um, unfortunately, we need to reload. But fortunately, we have a 100% chance of, uh, of hitting a guy who has quite nicely lined up a perfect headshot for us. There we go. Just as simple as that. I really, really like Ducks. I really, really like his character. I really, really like it all, actually. You're going to go on Overwatch. That's fine. Let's get you to reload. That's the first priority. And then let's see if we can take a pop. Unfortunately, we can't. You must just be out of range. It'll be close. There's a 50% chance over there. I'll put you on Overwatch for now, just on the off chance that you actually do... Seriously? You're kidding me! Alright, well I guess that quite um, quite perfectly demonstrates the uh, the bleed out mechanic. I do feel that that was kind of ridiculous. How are you getting a second shot, my friend? Okay, it doesn't matter. 75% chance to hit over there. 50% chance to hit from over there. And we cannot hit from this distance. Man, that really is kind of rubbish, actually. Out of range if we move over there. Okay, well, we got to move it up, right? We got to move it up, even if we don't want to. We got to move it up, and we got to take the chance. Uh, I'm going to take the shot. There we go. That's good. That's exactly the shot that I wanted to hit. We've got three turns to save our dude. It's so annoying that we have to do it right now, but he just... He had two really, really good shots. Um, dies in one turn. Yeah, all right. Let's move to here and then revive you there. Perfect. Here, buddy. Let me help you. There we go. We'll get you up. I'm still I'm okay. unbelievably disappointed okay. that we ever had to do that, but... Oh, man. That's just so annoying. Um, Put you over there, and I'll put you into Overwatch. Man, Overwatch. not a great first encounter, I must say, but it's okay. Overwatch. These things happen. Um, 
ducks, my friend. Can you manage to get a shot in there? No ammo in, a, in the equipped weapon, but if I reload, I don't suspect you're going to be able to get a shot. I wish you were able to tell me that before before I reloaded, but that's okay. Um, I do want to move this guy, although I know for a fact if I move him, he's going to get a shot off, and that could result in another death, which I'm not exactly thrilled about. Um... Yeah, okay, I'll put you on Overwatch as well. We'll have two dudes on Overwatch. If he moves out, which he will, then he's going to get shot by two guys. Or at least one guy. No. 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 Okay, let's see if we can hit from that range. 25% chance. Blummin' heck. That is so... Oh my goodness. Alright, we need to roll with the punches a little bit. 25% chance. It's a miss. Not ideal, but it's okay. We're right next to this dude to revive him anyway. Okay. Let's, uh... No. I couldn't apparently revive from the exact situation that I was currently in. Um, oh, bummer. Okay, well I know exactly what we're gonna do here. We're gonna we're gonna walk right up to you because at least we've triggered literally every potential Overwatch that we possibly could have, and we're gonna stand right next to him and shoot him. That was a that was an abysmal, an absolutely abysmal encounter. Yep, leveling up, thank you. That's at least some consolation to, um, at least some consolation to this. Uh, but I can be pretty disappointed with my, uh, with my performance there. Honestly, not very great. But you know what? These things happen. Um, these things happen. Let's get a boombox, and a boombox counts as an artifact, which is, I guess, special, special scrap. Once in a while, you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. Okay, rare scrap. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. And let's open the chest. See what's uh, see what's in here. Oh, a gaper, or a gaffer, I guess. Um, I think that that might be. Bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. Touch that red button, and it goes boom. I think. That might be a great weapon to equip on, uh, ooh, almost missed the parts there. I, li I do like how the parts sort of sparkle in this game. It's, uh, it's, it's a really, really nice feature. Because it's just not fun to, to sort of walk past an area of ground, you know, looking at it with, you know, sort of superhuman vision. And, uh, and still then not spot anything. Doesn't look like there's anything around here. Maybe there is, maybe there's not. Um, what I should probably do is have a little look at our inventory. Um, we could quite conceivably put uh, the Gaper onto you, and I think that that would honestly be a lot better. Um, I, you know, it's silly to rely on crit damage, right? Even with a crit chance of 15%, a crit chance of 15% is really, really poor. Um, let's equip the Gaper, and that will be at least one extra guaranteed damage. Uh, also, in terms of using medkits, I, I maybe... We could maybe justify using a med kit. There we go. See, it is worth exploring the uh, the, the edges of the map. Um, we could maybe justify using a med kit. We could even maybe justify, um, you know, using it on 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 ducks or uh, or even or even Borman. E either or, really. I think we could justify it. I I don't think I want to, and I don't think I should. We need to we need to keep that med kit just in case we need we need to revive we need to revive anyone because we had a pretty dodgy fight and I. I'm not keen to replicate that ever again in this video game. So let's hope that it only goes, uh, that it only gets better from here. Uh, before we do move on, though, I should probably go into the mutation screen and have a little, little bit of a look uh, and see what we can get. So on Borman, we can spend uh, two mutation points, and uh, we can we can unlock run and gun, or we can unlock health booster. Alternatively, we can save up to get the Joker uh, mutation, which is kind of which is kind of cool. Um, Hog Rush. Hog Rush is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to get Running Gun. Running Gun is an absolutely fantastic skill. I think it's probably his best skill. Um, 
yeah, and I think I've unlocked most of his stuff. Not all of his stuff, but, you know, from all of the stuff that I've, I've sort of seen, it's, it's pretty darn good. 100% uh, critical chance, minus 25% accuracy. It's all right. It's, it's all right. Um, I, it, it, it's kind of nice. It's really, really good if you can get on some high ground. I am going to take it. I'm going to take it, absolutely, and I'm also going to take the health booster rather than saving up because I am conscious of Ducks has, you know, slightly lower health than, than Borman, and we need to make sure that we're, we're allocating some health resources to, uh, to, uh, to Ducks. Anyway, let's travel to the next section, I think, and hope... Of course the world ends. You did it to us. We might be able to get to the Ark. When the ice Maybe in this episode. leave it at that if the stalkers come back from the zone alive the ark survives another day if the stalkers don't come back the legacy of mankind will be lost forever at least that's what the elder says yeah Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. That's right. Um, so with that, that sort of sets the scene, tells us what we've uh, what we've got to expect. And this is the penultimate level before we get to the Ark, and I think we're going to be able to do it in this episode. Indeed. Okay. Good. So, top priority, of course. Is uh, is finding some scrap because man oh man I mean Dux was complaining a little bit earlier at the very start of the game about how you know the elder should send uh, should send people to where there is scrap whoa, but whoa, hold up. there is a lot of scrap here. Yeah okay I'm I'm down with this idea of sneaking around. Um, anything which doesn't involve me engaging uh, the enemy is is good in my books. That is something over there. I will take that. Uh, we'll loop back around just quickly to see if there's anything of value out here. Doesn't look like it. Not that I can see. Ooh. What have we got here? A note. It's a crying shame 
Uh, with this to barter, Delta would surely have given us a discount, you mentioned. So here's the deal. A working spark machine lies to the east of the Iron Serpent within the scrap ruins. It was one of those devices for burning things together or whatnot. But of course, there's no silver lining without a cloud above it. Um, them, ghoul, them, them ghoul bastards who lurk in the ruins came out and chased us away before we could recover it. Next time, ghouls, we will get you good. Interesting. Valuable scrap. Nice. And I believe that this is some armor of some kind, right? Oh, no, it's not. It's a snazzy visor. 25% added to weapon range. I mean, there is quite literally no reason not for us to equip that uh, right now onto ducks. Far and away, absolutely, uh, really, really good on him. Allows us to engage enemies from a uh, serious distance, actually. Uh, let's just have a little look around the coast up here. I don't think that there is anything on the roof. However, I'll have a quick little peek whilst I'm around in uh, in this area. Nope, definitely not. Definitely not anything of value. You didn't need to come up here, Borman. Did I just lose an, an HP for that? Or am I just imagining it? I don't think I did. Uh, ooh. That was close. I think he might walk out this way if I'm not careful. Whoa. Yeah, we need to make sure that we don't get caught. Yeah, he's walking out this way. Thought so. Um, there is a dude over there. That's fine. Elevator should be just up here. I'm going to sneak around the side just to see if there is anything round in this area. Turns out there already is old tool scrap. That's pretty darn good. Um, yeah, I knew there was something over here. I knew it. Let's have a look at... Uh, uh, what's in here? I think this is armor. I'm pretty sure this is armor. Yeah, there we go. A stalker vest. Okay, well, since we devoted a a, uh, a mutation point to ducks, I would feel quite comfortable giving the armor to uh, giving the armor to Borman. It's a big increase, and uh, I'm sure he'll sure he'll use it wisely. Don't think that there's anything else around this area but it is always worth checking as i have said i really don't want to engage anyone no it doesn't doesn't look like there's anything there's anything out there if there is um oh i i tell a huge lie i mi i missed it it was right there um if there is anything then we can pick it up when we next come through this area you can actually travel to uh, any, or you can fast travel, should I say, to any area that you uh, that you wish to, and we can absolutely come back here at a later date and uh, and do that. Requires zone key, okay? Well, we do not have a zone key, not yet, anyway. Just sort of checking around the back of the elevator, see if any of the scavengers have perhaps dropped off a little bit of scrap around the back of the elevator. Doesn't look like they're that careless, but they did miss a little bit of scrap, very, very near. Uh, very, very near to their elevator, so I wouldn't put it past, I wouldn't put anything past them, really. Either way, let's head up to the Ark and see what they've, uh, see what they've got in store for us. The Elder meets us at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead. Going farther into the zone than anybody else. Bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running. How to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north. Not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before. But the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin. Search for clues. Then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. Nice. Okay. Well, that has uh, that has sort of quite neatly 
set up our mission. Very, very cool indeed. Cool. All right. Well, I think, yeah, I think we have a, a nice little, nice little overview of the arc now. Um, we'll sort of go into details in the next episode uh, and we'll spend all of our juicy, juicy resources in the next episode. But for now, ladies and gents, that is going to do it. My name, of course, has been Obit Potato. This has been Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.